Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about a special flowering plant native to the temperate region. Let's botanize. So I'm standing near this grove of pawpaws, or Acemina triloba, and it's a really interesting plant for a few reasons. First is its phylogenetic placement. So in a previous video, we outlined the uh, major groups of flowering plants. These include the anagrade, the magnoliids, the monocots, and the eudicots. So pawpaw is a member of the magnoliids, and specifically, it's in the family Ananaceae, which is a primarily tropical lineage. And pawpaw is actually the only species in that family that makes it this far north. The next interesting thing about this plant is the unusual flowers. As you can see, the petals are dark red, similar to structures that we saw in the Amorphophallus. It also has a very pungent odor. However, unlike the Amorphophallus, it's not as strong, and it actually smells something like a sourdough starter. The morphology of the flowers is actually quite similar across species in the genus. The petals are often in whorls of three, which is usually a character associated with monocots, but does occur in some other groups. If you peel back the petals, you can see that in the center of the flower, the female reproductive part is sitting on a disc of male reproductive parts. Another interesting thing about the species is that it reproduces clonally through root suckers, forming large genetically identical stands. Finally, this species is famous for producing large edible fruits, which, if you haven't had, you should definitely try to seek out. It tastes something like a mix between a banana, a mango, and an avocado. So, we'll come back to this plant in the fall and hopefully find some nice ripe fruit to enjoy.